Yo, yo, I'm Trigil Chris, and today I wanted to talk about the worst coffee shops in Amsterdam because recently I made a YouTube short about the coffee shops that I feel like you guys really need to check out like the best coffee shops in Amsterdam and in the comments on that video I had some people trying to talk about the worst coffee shops and I had some people trying to tell me that the best coffee shops were the ones that I consider to be the worst so I'm gonna tell you guys what I consider to be the worst coffee shops in Amsterdam. But before we get into that, we need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, Discreet Seeds. Your Discreet Seeds have some amazing genetics over on their website. And recently, whenever my personal friends have asked me, hey Drew, what seeds do you recommend? I always recommend Grounded Genetics because they have some crazy genetics that you don't see anyone else doing from seed. And Discreet Seeds have their stock over on their website and you can get 10% off with discount code DREW10. So, Make sure to use that discount code to get 10% off anything on the website and you can even get a free pack of seeds. So make sure to check them out in the pinned comment down below and don't miss out on that deal. So people, thank you and let's get on with this video. Okay, so the first coffee shop on this list of the worst coffee shops in Amsterdam is Rick's Coffee Shop, okay? And if you've watched my going to every coffee shop in one day, you already know. And <laughs> the reason is because the guy who runs this shop is an asshole. You walk into this place, and before you even say anything, you can just tell by the way they're looking at you that they want you to leave. And if you ask more than like two questions about a bit of bud that they have, they're just gonna straight up be like, uh, are you gonna buy anything or are you gonna just keep asking questions? Like that type of vibe. And every time I've been in there, that's how they are, just rude, yeah? And I don't know if for some reason they get trained to be rude, but if you go on Google Maps and look at their reviews, you'll see that everyone has the exact same issue. Okay, so the Jolly Joker. I'm gonna tell you guys a story about this place as well, because picture this, right? It's my first time ever in Amsterdam. Never been before, I don't know anything, right? And this was like 20, 15, the very end of 2015. So never been Amsterdam before. I'm walking around trying to find like any shops. I'm with two homies and we walk into this place. We see the Jolly Joker. We're like, oh, this looks like an all right place. We walk up to the counter and same as Rick's coffee shop. Guy just, you know, instantly, you can tell he wants you to leave before you've even bought anything. It's like, what? But you know, it's, it's Amsterdam. Some people are like that. We, we're like, okay, go up to the counter and we're like, yeah, I was just thinking about, you know, grabbing a gram or something and then, you know, sitting down and having a smoke. The guy's like, all right, sweet, what do what, what you want? And like, we're trying to ask to smell stuff and the guy's like, no, can't smell anything. Hey, like, well, how do I choose what I would like? But in, anyways, okay, look, I'll grab this, right? So we grab this, we go sit down. And then as soon as we sit down, the guy's like, no, 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 you have to buy a drink to, to, to smoke in here. It's like, Okay, well you couldn't couldn't have told us that when we went to the counter and you know said to you that we were gonna sit down Okay, look anyways, we'll buy a drink So we buy a drink we sit down and at the time I smoked with tobacco, right? And you're not supposed to smoke with tobacco inside of the shops But you get the tobacco out and you know just beside you and then you sprinkle it in That's how it works in like every shop. That's just the etiquette, right? But yo, we get out like this little bit of tobacco yeah, and the guy comes over and starts screaming at us Get the tobacco out of your seat! Get the tobacco out! No! And we're thinking bro, could have just come over and just been like, yo, nah. <laughs> we sit there, we manage to smoke our thing, and then like maybe five minutes later, one of my friends gets out a little bit that they bought from another shop, and the guy comes over screaming, like, get that out of here, you cannot have flour that is not from the shop, and all this stuff, and we're like, bruv. We're in Amsterdam, of all places. Of course we're gonna have flour from other places. Look, so all of that <laughs> made me absolutely hate the Jolly Joker. I've never been back since. I've never even stepped in to look at the menu. So, um, yeah, that's my experience with the Jolly Joker and why I think it's one of the worst places. Okay, these next two coffee shops I'm gonna talk about are gonna be controversial to put on this list, but hear me out. <laughs> I do have an explanation for both of them. The first one, is grey area, okay? And if you've watched my Amsterdam videos in the last year, you may have noticed that I make sly jabs towards grey area, and I constantly say that I don't like grey area and that I'm not going into grey area. And I do see a lot of comments from people being like, what, why? Grey area was the best place. Like, bro, I haven't been to Amsterdam for four years and grey area was so good. What do you mean you're gonna miss grey area? And every time I get comments like that, there's one similar thing in it. If you heard it, it's the four years ago comment, right? Because yeah, four years ago, Grey Area was killing it. 
I mean, it's 2022 now, so it's more like five years ago, but yeah, around five years ago to four years ago, that's when Grey Area was kind of killing it still. And somewhere around 2018, it started going downhill. And I started noticing every time I would go into Grey Area, the bud would get worse and worse and worse. And it got to the point where maybe there would only be like one thing on the menu that I would like, if there was gonna be anything at all. And then this happened, okay? One day, I'm doing my live stream. So I'm walking through Amsterdam, got my like little phone on a selfie stick tripod, walking around, just trying to live stream and like, you know, showing off menus and picking up bits and then going out and smoking them and walking down the street in Amsterdam, right? That was the goal. And I'm walking down the street, I go to grey area. And of course, for courtesy, I turn the screen off, I make sure there's no camera, I make sure everything's on the side. And the only thing anyone can hear is like a tiny bit of audio as I walk in the store. But I've walked into the store and I'm waiting in the queue for like 20 minutes, yeah? Which isn't crazy long, but it's still a long time to wait in a queue for a coffee shop, right? And as I get to the front of the counter, there's one person in front of me. And the person in front of me must have only just noticed that I was behind them and they, they watch the channel and they're like, oh, damn, Drew, yo, are you streaming out here? You doing all the stuff? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm doing all this. And then the guy behind the counter, he hears the guy go, oh, look, are you streaming out here and all this? And like sees me with the tripod in my hand and all that. And he goes, are you live streaming in here? Are you live streaming in here? That's rude. That's so rude. You can't just come into a coffee shop and live stream what are you doing i'm like bro what the fuck i'm not i'm, I'm like i'm not i'm like I'm, you do not see the thing it's not on it's not on g what the guy's like oh whoa it's rude bro you don't do that it's rude you don't just walk into coffee shops and do that and it's like well actually on the on the other end of the spectrum just earlier i've been walking into loads of coffee shops going up to them telling hey i've got a live stream here is it okay if i live stream about and they always go yeah of course and they go yeah show off the whole menu it's like so there must be a reason why they don't want nobody showing off the menu, right? But, besides the point, I'm like, look, fuck this. I, like, at this point, I'm like a bit already annoyed that the guy's just gone off of me for no reason whatsoever. I get to the counter, and the guy just bites into an apple. Starts eating an apple in my face. Like, I'm thinking, bruv, what the fuck? And then, the guy just turns to his left and starts talking to some fucking me behind the counter. I'm thinking, bruv, I've just waited 20 minutes in a queue for you to yell at me and to then eat an apple in my face. Eventually, after he finishes his entire apple, yeah, I'm like, look, I want to I wanna look at the Thin Mint and I think it was Skywalker maybe or something, but it's Thin Mint and something. And I remember looking at these two things, which are the only things on the menu that would even be worth looking at. And they were both dead. They were both dead. And I remember looking at these things and going, these are both dead, bro. And I said to the guy, because I was so angry at this point for what the guy said before, I was like, look, I'll grab a gram of this Thin Mint because I feel bad for waiting in this queue and getting nothing. And so I've never had, personally, a more jarring experience walking into uh, like a shop like that. I've never had a time where somebody's quite acted as mad as that. Uh, for like quite literally no reason and it makes sense because I say no reason But it makes sense because their flower is trash Like they don't want nobody coming in there showing off all this dead flower And then all these people who haven't been to Amsterdam in ages who think grey area is the best then Don't come out and go to grey area because they've seen that the flower is trash Like it makes sense in that front But to me it was very very rude and the fact that the flower had been going downhill for like a year or two before that happened That was like the final nail in the coffin for me and it was like well I'm never going here again. And even though that was like almost four years ago now, that was like three and a half years ago, yeah? I checked their menu recently. You know, I check all coffee shop menus as of recent. I tried to keep up to date. I see they're now trying to get rid of flour, Dutch flour, for 25 a G. Are you mad? <laughs> I'm never going gray area ever again. All right, and the last shop on my list, which... Yes, this is on a list of the worst coffee shops in Amsterdam. And all you locals who are listening to me right now, please hear me out and please listen to me, yeah? And it's Boren Jorgens, or however the fuck you say their coffee shop name, yeah? This place is trash. Now, now wait, 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 wait. Stop yelling at me in the comments. Stop yelling at me in the comments. Because yes, I hear you. Yes, I see the comments. I see the comments from people on the, you know, what are the best coffee shops in Amsterdam video. I see the comments from people being like, ha! All the locals laughing at you, bro. All the locals the know the best coffee shop is Born Jorgens. <laughs> Shall I read out Born Jorgens menu right now? So their sativa menu is Amnesia G13, Super Silver Strawberry, Tangy Haze, Super Amazing, Super Silver Haze, Super Silver G13, Amazing Haze, and Amnesia Haze. Okay, and their indica is white choco g13 kosher tangy 
White Choco Magic, AK020, AKG13, LA Confidential CBG, and Green Magic CBD. That's the, that is the whole menu for this place. How do people think that this is the best shop? Like, <laughs> when I read comments like this, I'm like, am I going insane? Like, these people, yeah, they, they have a shop. They're nice people, don't get me wrong. They have a shop. They're nice. They're not rude to people. They wear suits. They look cool, right? They have possibly the best shop in Amsterdam in the sense of a shop. Like, the shop is good, the service is good, but none of that matters if the flower is trash. Like, I don't want any of this. <laughs> I don't want any of this. But yeah, and I don't think I need to say too much more than that about this shop. Like I said, seems like a really cool shop as a shop, but for the flower, not for me. Not for me. And if you're in the flavor scene or you, you smoke similar stuff to me, it is not a place to go to. I can't imagine how many people get told that this is the best shop, end up going there and get so disappointed with the menu, like I was. Because I remember everyone used to tell me that this is the best shop. And then I went to it and I was like, huh? This is what people are calling is the best shop? I was like, nah, my, they must have just had like low stock on the menu. This must just be like they're, they don't have the good ones on the menu today, right? No, this is their menu all of the time um so yeah anyways these are <laughs> these are my personal worst coffee shops in amsterdam you may disagree with me that's absolutely fine and if you do i want to know why in the comments down below or if you have any other shops that you think i missed on this list make sure to let me know in the comments down below as well so people if you like this video make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button just down here and also we've got a lot of videos coming out soon i'm going to spain on monday but while i'm in spain we should have the liverpool tester video coming out we also have the ultimate cali pack tier list coming out with 30 brands in it so that's coming out soon and then there should be some spain videos coming out as well so stay tuned for that and uh i go live every night on twitch at 9 p.m so hopefully i'll see you guys on twitch later on today actually it might be 11 p.m today check my instagram story because it's the weekend so um yeah people i'll see you soon have a good one peace